Boss, bitch, you know, for sure. You're not listening to the mind of an Terry's move. Flight boss, the Archangel Uriel. And I'm here to care. I got to do these motherfucking responsibilities. And right now, um, someone asked a question. What is actually spiritual jump roping? So spiritual jump roping. Now, like I said, you got a bunch of people that uh, speak amongst consciousness. There's a thin line between consciousness and spirituality. But when we talk about a person who's diving too far into consciousness, that's a person who can start to become too lost into the physical or too lost into the light. So, you know, it, it, it'll play out as in them trying to tie everything to the physical. So for the most part, when we talk about these kind of people, um, they would try to force you to detach from everything in life. You see what I'm saying? Like, you listen to these people and start to think you're supposed to detach from everything in life to the point that it become an unenjoyable life. You become like a, a, a person who like to mimic a monk and you don't even know what's actually going on within a monk's mind for them to come to that conclusion. So, you know, and then you might be under a certain spirit or a lord or a god that whatever rules your ideas and concepts that put you in the realm of reality to, to even make you think that. Like, who, who, who even said that's what you're supposed to do? Now, as a spirit, and for civilizations and ages, all of our spirits has been doing something regardless what, what we see in the physical, regardless what kind of name or title we put around it, or what kind of concept we put around it uh, in physical terms. Our spirit don't give a fuck about that shit. Our spirit been doing a similar frequency vibration anyway so once you look at it in that way that's how you start to understand so when you talk about spiritual jump roping right as a spirit no one told you you're supposed to cut off any of your experiences you're here to experience it to experience so it ain't what you're doing it's how you do it you know what i'm saying so you could be a person who's very well know themselves so you know where you're going but you could be doing the same thing a person who's lost doing so just because you conscious, you can't be criticizing what a person is actually doing, saying that they're lost, because you are showing a form of lostness. See, that ain't got nothing to do with being lost or uh, spiritual jump roping. See, with, when we talk about a person, uh, you could you could be doing the same thing as a, another person. The, what y'all actually doing doesn't describe if a person is lost or not. See, you, you could be doing the same thing another person is doing, but if that person is lost, then that means... You just have you just have the ability to manifest more out of that circumstance than the person who's lost because the person who's lost is too busy looking and too busy trying to find, you know, what I'm saying and too busy trying to relate. And then they don't know why they in the circumstance that they in in the first place. The, the reason that they in the circumstance in the first place is because of some outside reference. So, you know, you, that's what you have to understand. Now, spirits, this is where we get the spiritual jump roping. You're supposed to experience just as much as everybody else supposed to experience. It's just how you experience. Jump roping. Knowing when you're going too far. Knowing when you're supposed to do things in moderation. You know what I'm saying? Knowing when certain energies ain't for you to be in in the first place. Knowing when it's time to, when something has served its purpose. Knowing when it's a person, place, or thing around you that you need to detach from. Knowing when it's a person, place, or thing around you that you may need to attach to. There's a bunch of different scenarios that, um... That come to this aspect when we talk about spiritual jump roping. But if you're not experiencing, then you're missing the whole point. So if you're being too consciously aware and putting your spirit in too many light prisms, aka prisons, you're not going to understand what I'm talking about. You too, you too conscious. But you know, this we ain't talk about conscious right now. We talk about spirit. So you know, if you ain't considering putting yourself in all those realms of realities, then you got it all right. But spiritual jump roping, no one told you to cancel off any of your experiences, right? You're here to experience as a spirit, and then through these experiences, you learn to develop what you can, what you here to learn, and what you're here to cut off. And that's called spiritual jump roping, not canceling your experiences, but doing what the fuck you supposed to do here, which is to motherfucking experience, and and. The moment you start to try to tie on any kind of um, the moment you try to tie, try to tie on any kind of morality or any kind of this way of looking or this way of looking at whatever you're doing in the physical realm, that's another form of putting your spirit in a prism in a light. So understand that that's another form of putting your spirit prism in a light. Anytime you start to give your experiences 
any kind of annotation that's outside of you. You know what I'm saying? So that's like your oversoul. And then any type of annotation you give from within inside of you, that's giving your own spiritual limits. These experiences has nothing necessarily to do with it being right or wrong, but it could be right or wrong based upon the, the jail cells that you put in your spirit in, these lights that you put in, shapes and forms that you're putting on your spirit. You see what I'm saying? So for the most part, just make sure that you're not doing that. Make sure you're keeping your spirit light and free so you're not adding any depth emotion feelings to these experiences and you're able to know how much to add how much not to add to to actually experience enough with your spirit to know what to experience and what to and what not to experience in this level of life because what you've been doing now is what you always been doing Re remember that so what you're doing now make sure you're making sure you're looking and see what you're tired of doing and make sure you're looking around and seeing with some new experiences so you can start attaching this to your motherfucking spirit and your spirit can start jumping in shapes and forms that more resonate with your reality that you want to create in these worlds in these realms flight boss bitch goddamn air eee -hee.